Okay, so I want to welcome you back to some more Red Dead Redemption 2. Now, in terms of missions, we got uh, one popping over, over here with Uncle, so I'm probably going to go ahead and do that. <clears throat> Not much has really changed since we last left off. I'm probably going to keep uh, John's classic outfit for the for the rest of the epilogue, to be honest. I can't, I, you, you have to, you know? Alright, there's, um, there's Uncle over there. Those plans make any sense? Oh, sure. Seems easy enough, I think. How hard can it be? <laughs> but I'll tell you what I think. Just to be safe, I'll do the reading and planning, and you do the building. How did I know you'd try to weasel out of doing any work? Oh, now, that is plain unfair. It, it's inaccurate and not what's going to happen. I'm simply going to use what I've got, which is a brain. While you use what you've got, which is less of a brain. Let's get started. Well, first thing it says the foundation, which involves moving those heavy wooden joists. Definitely not a job for a man with terminal lumbago unless you want to dig a six foot deep hole for me when the work day's over. Don't tempt me. Oh, well, here comes Charles. Maybe he can lighten the mood a little. How'd you get on? I'll be back, but not for a while. Charles, dear boy, John needs help moving these joists. Now come on. Get a move on. We gotta get started before the rains come. You're very annoying. He's right. We should get on with this. This is pretty cool, man. Well, let me have a rule and a saw and a board and I'll cut it. I'll climb up a ladder with a hammer and a nail, and I'll nail it. Well, we worked so hard to build a little house together. In the snow or the rain or the ice cold wind, whenever. No matter what the weather, we're together. Let me have a rule and a saw and a board and I'll cut it. Climb up a ladder with a hammer and a nail and I'll nail it. Well, we worked so hard to build a little house together. In the snow or the rain or the ice cold wind, whenever. No matter any weather, we're together.
I think that's everything. <laughs> John Marston, you have a home. So do you. Oh, I know. And you, Charles, as long as you'll stay with us. Thank you. <laughs> Gentlemen, to this happy home. Well, at least till this fool gets his woman back. <laughs> My darling Abigail, I hope you and Jack are doing well. I remain a fool, and I'm sure I shall die a fool. But I'm trying very hard to be something like the man you deserve. I have done something very silly in an effort to impress you, and that is I've purchased a home. The land you read about in the newspaper up at Beecher's Hope is now ours, and we are going to try our hand at ranching. Mr. Geddes kindly helped me buy the land. I met Uncle while I was coming out of the bank, and while I know your feelings about him, he has been enormously helpful in his own fashion. Charles Smith has also appeared and is unsurprisingly a pillar of strength. Together, we've built you a home. I hope soon to show it to you. I miss you and the boy more than I can express. Please, come back to me. Yours always, John. Uncle, I thought you was... Where the hell? Oh, I got gold! <clears throat> Let's see. Okay, Hammer the Nails in with 80%. Oh, wow. I, I, I can't believe I got that, man. Uh, complete with a free... <laughs> Hammer the Nails within 8%. Oh god. I'm sorry, I just I can't I can't stop laughing for the minutes. Okay. Okay, I'm good. Beth. <laughs> oh dear. Oh wait, there, there's some there's some grub over here. I'm gonna <laughs> I, I apologize, I can't, um, I'm just, I can't stop laughing at the moment. That's just, that's just insane, you know. Oh, is this just, is this just picking up shit? Well, why not? It's, it's a bit annoying during the flashback there, he, um, he was shaven when I, when I had a full beard. That's a bit... I don't see any other missions popping up <laughs> right now. <laughs> but, um... We will, uh... I don't even know what I'm doing anymore. Okay. I need to calm down. Just do some do some chores. Return the pitchfork, okay. Well I was right on it right there. Really? 
Where am I supposed to return? Does it matter, you know? Oh, here we go. Okay, okay, we're good. Uh, let's see what we got. Let's see if... Yeah, oh, there it is. So what's that? A quick favor for an old friend. Uh, uncle is lazing about and there's plenty of work to do on the ranch. Alright, let's uh, go ahead and do that. <clears throat> So we finally, we finally built it, man. That's pretty cool. Oh, there he is. Just one time I hope to find you working. Just once. Do you believe in reincarnation, John Marston? No. Well, I hope and pray to whatever is out there that I get to come back as a youngin', so that when you're old and facing death, I can be some two-penny slave driver that comes along and hastens your journey into the grave. This is a fatal condition I got. And I'll give you another fatal condition. We don't get on with things around here, and we'll all starve. Get on with what? Farming? Ranching? Planting something? The only thing that this land's good for is grazing. Grazing? Yeah, so so cows, sheep, goats. Now, goats is easy, but they taste awful. I don't like goats. And cows, I've seen enough cows. Yeah, sheep then. But any livestock, you're gonna need a barn. Barn will take three of us six months to build. Oh, you don't build a barn, dumbass. What do you think this is, 1785? You buy one pre-cut just like the house. This is the industrial age. The lumber fellers all have them. That guy makes me hate the modern world. Oh, come on. I'll deal with them. Oh, yeah. <clears throat> I miss Buell. I miss my horse, man. In the black water. Let's go. After you, sir. <sighs> Or, or my leading, okay. Well, let's um, let's put a marker on that and uh, go in style, shall we? Uh, this fella probably saw you. Thought here's some corn husk idiot, some country rube doesn't know a pre-cut home from an outhouse, and I'm gonna rob him blind. <laughs> Uh, I gotta respect him for it. Cause if I saw you walk into my lumberyard, I'd think exactly the same thing. Thinking about it? Huh. I'm not actually... It actually got a marker up now, so we're good. I do this on my own. Oh, I can't let you do that, John. Let you get robbed again? <laughs> oh, no. You need someone with some sense to negotiate. And some charm wouldn't hurt neither. Oh, and that's you, is it? With your famous way with people? Ha! Ah, you're in enough debt as it is. I got to help you all I can. It's my debt. I'll handle it. Yeah, but if they foreclose on the debt, I'll lose my home. And I do so like it there. You like it too much. You're far too comfortable. Ah, you ain't even got furniture. <clears throat> but it's like I was saying, I really hope we get to go after Micah in this. And also, I wonder if we're going to see Dutch again, you know? Maybe, like, we'll see him one more time. John will, like, uh, try and kill him or something. But obviously, he doesn't. He, he fails. And then... But we'll, we'll see what happens. As, as long as we get to kill Micah, I'm... Uh... I, st I still want to go to Armadillo, man. And all the other areas in this, like Thieves Landing. Oh, well, we gotta get, we gotta head there. Whoa. Oh, it's up this way. Morning, friend. This is him. Riding old bodies, buried under them new buildings on the skirts 
Speak to the lumber salesman. Yeah, this this guy's pretty pretty weird. And how are we? How's little Emily? Emily. Oh, I'm sorry. I've, uh, um, how are you? Albert Cakes. Okay. We need a barn. A barn? Of course you do. All them potatoes. We're gonna uh, farm livestock. What's wrong with you? How many scar-faced loons you got coming in here buying pre-cut uh, homes? Here, uh, what you think? Uh, have a look. <laughs> Maybe that one. Yeah, that one. We're an excellent choice. We have a couple already cutting in stock. I'll have it sent to you in Blackwater. I'm down at Beecher's Hope. Oh, I'm sorry. Of course, this is my wife, Jerry. You see, she's out. But it, it's great seeing you again, Isle. Yeah, it's, and it's you, been sir. a pleasure as always. Great pleasure. Love your work. Of course. How are we going to pay for this? <laughs> Same way we pay for everything. I just wish I could help you, sir. You've been a good customer, and I like you, and David Geddes likes now, you. I, I... But this man <laughs> is very annoying. Can you just give me a few days? Of course. I really enjoy begging and watching you make a fool of yourself. Well, I... John! Hey! Is that Sadie Adler? <laughs> hey! John, how are you? Well, hello, Uncle. Nice to see you. Oh, and you too. Oh, shut up, you old creep. <laughs> Listen, Sadie, I... You got any work? I'm kind of desperate. Work? Hmm. How desperate? I need money. A bunch of money. My debt's climbing. Uh, you up for a fight? Is it legal? <laughs> well, it's very legal, but it's also pretty dangerous. With you, it'll be fine, but I wouldn't do it on my own. I ain't got much choice. All right, then. Come on. <laughs> Look after him, Sadie. He's a delicate flower underneath. Tell the bank there's money coming in. And get a crew to help with that barn. I have it on good authority we can find this bounty at Painted Sky. I know the place. Okay, I'll follow you. All right, I'm leading again, okay? Morning, dude. <clears throat> All right, the Painted Sky tip is pretty fresh, but I don't know how long it'll stay that way. An encyclopedia salesman was up there on the property. Couldn't find the rancher, but saw a Mexican-looking feller hanging around. Now, Ramon Cortez is round those parts. Split up from his gang and stuck in West Elizabeth. It's gotta be him. Fold up, waiting on some out. And we're gonna get to him first. Another bounty, okay. Sadie. Hey, so who is this bounty? Ramon Cortez. He's with the Del Lobo gang. Del Lobos? Yeah. You head back down to where we was, New Austin, you're bound to run into them. Oh, I ran into them. Mostly Mexicans. Some of them. But some is Californios. And some are regular Americans, too. They're a misfit bunch. Just like we were. And they're friendly. Real friendly. Oh, yeah. Ugh, it's a bad situation down there. Burnings, killings, you name it. I know something of that. And not much law except the Sheriff of Tumbleweed. He's making a hell of a go of it, but there ain't much there to hold back the chaos. It's real wild country. That ain't the way. All right. Like he needs all the help he can get. Maybe drop in on him sometime. You know, I had some trouble of my own. That gang you was talking about, was they the Skinner brothers? That's them. They ain't nice. Nice? Weren't what I heard about him. Got a hold of this feller I'd hired. Ah, oh, he didn't die well. Mm, I'm sorry, John. We fought back. We was too slow, was all. I wish we'd done better for him. I'm sure you did the best you could. I've heard, well, oh, the kinds of things they do to men. Unspeakable things. I hope that's the last you see of them. Me too. But if not, I mean to be ready. That is wise. You want to hear something? I built my ranch house. Good for you. Did you make it out of straw bales? No. <laughs> it's one of them pre-cut ones. Me and Charles put it up. And Uncle watched and barked the odd order at us. It's solid, though. Real good and sturdy. Woo! 
John Marston's got his own house. You should come see it. It's good country, Sadie. Despite all that. I try not to fraternize too much with employees. You know, it sends the wrong message. Oh, that's what I am now. An employee. Mm-hmm. That's what the bank says. Oh, well then I guess our fraternizing days are done. Now, be a good boy and get this bounty for me. Yes, ma'am. <laughs> yeah, I mean... <clears throat> We went to Pike's Basin before, and Armadillo's like right is really near there, so we should be able to go back at some point. Oh, he struggles to get around those corners, though. Did she just yell at me? Stop! Easy. This is painted sky up here. Looks quiet. Ramon Cortez, you better be here. Good work today. All right. Oh, you know what? Let me just check. Oh, yeah, I haven't got any. Let me get the bolt action and. Double barreled. <clears throat> All right. <clears throat> Damn. I want to be prepared, you know. Oh, Investigate the barn. I could kick it, but I've got the brake lock thing. So... Might as well. Ramon Cortez! We've converted! Ooh! Uh, it'll all be over soon. Come on, come on! We've come for you. You got him? I think so. He just tried to kill me. That's about right. <clears throat> yeah, that's him. Come on, let's get him to the sheriff. Come on, Ramon. Let's go for a ride. We're going to Rhodes. Rhodes? It's different there now. Damn, we're going to Rhodes? That's quite a ways away. You want money? Gold? My men are meeting me at Dewberry Creek. Take me there. I'll be you good. There isn't any bounty. Oh, shut up. We'll cross up here. Come on. This place still gives me the creeps. Hit your horse up here. Oh, there's a doggy right there. Bring your tent around the trunk for me, will you? I'll get them ready for you. Where the hell did she go? I'm I'm going completely the opposite direction. Where are you going, sir? 
All right. I better not fail the mission because I went too far away, you know? All right. Let me hitch up. Damn it, again, it feels like a lifetime ago that we were here, you know? Ramon Cortez. Cortez? Sure did. Well done, Hal. Found him hiding in a pile of shit. <laughs> That's about right. <laughs> How you doing, Ramon? Oh, just fine, mister. <sighs> <sighs> hey, how much you want? How much any of you want? I'll give $2,000 in gold to whichever one of you sets me free. <laughs> I'm afraid it's a bit late for that, Ramon. You've been a real bad boy. Me and my boys are gonna ride you into San Denis and watch them hang you. <laughs> okay, okay, if you think so, mister. <laughs> oh, I know so, Ramon. Take a seat. Help me guard them till my boys arrive and we can get them out of here. Sure. Uh, spent years cleaning up this town. Last thing I need is fools like this thinking they can take us back to the... Bad old days. Well, you did a good job. Let me get the bow action out. One guy over there. You ain't getting him, you bastards. You bastards are always. Look at him go. I can't work keeping him. What was it? Come on. The jail. The jail. They blew my jail apart. He's gone. He's gone. Uh, well. We brought him in. Now, pay us what's owed. He ain't here now, madam. I don't get paid unless he makes it to San Denis. You want to get shot today as well as robbed, mister? Are you threatening me? Why would we bother threatening you? Get him back and I'll get your money. And another $50 besides. A hundred dollars. Seventy-five. I can't go higher. Done. Let's go, Jim Milton. Come on. Oh man. All right, let's go. Come on, man. Where are we going to find him? He said there were men meeting him at Dewberry Creek. Let's start by looking there. Sure. You've had some bad luck with bounties being stole off of you. And you're about to have some bad luck with getting punched in the face. He got stole off both of us. Someone must have talked. Uh, one of his boys. 
maybe. We were sitting ducks, waiting all that time in that Jim Crack jailhouse. Yeah, yes we were. I don't like it. The sheriff's done a lot to bring roads into line since the time of the Greys and Braithwaite's, but clearly he ain't done enough. So you think we can trust him? Yeah, he'll pay up when we come back with Cortez. He's a decent fella. If we come back with Cortez? We're coming back with him. Don't you worry about that. It's an odd thing, isn't it? We'll take $200 from a sheriff who might be crooked himself to go get a bounty. But we won't take $2,000 from an outlaw just to let him go. If that kind of offer is tempting to you, then go right ahead. But not when you're on one of my jobs. I never said I was tempted by it. I just said it was an odd thing. How we'd take money from one, but not the other. Everyone's got to choose what they're loyal to. Themselves, God, the state. If a bounty hunter wants to last, the loyalty's got to be to the one that's issuing the bounties. Plain and simple. I got a reputation for honest work. So, everyone with a price on their head deserves it, you think? Sure. No, I don't know. Usually, if I got into who deserved what, second guess every poster, I'd tear out all my hair before I put a rope on anyone. If the price is high enough, you got to trust there's a reason they said it. I hope that rationale works out for all of us. <clears throat> Down there. A fire. I'd wager that's them. Stay on the road. Let's find a good vantage point. All right. So I guess we're gonna... They must be camping down there. Why are they hanging around? Probably waiting for a boat. Uh, there's supposed to be a storm coming through. So maybe that's delayed them? Perhaps. So what do we do now? I'm gonna go get them. You? Me. You just cover me. I ain't getting you killed out there. But it's okay for you. I, I want to die. And besides, those bastards don't look that tough. I, they look asleep as far as I can tell. I'm gonna go. You sure about this? You just don't seem right. This is my show, John Marston. Do as you're goddamn told. And shoot well. Oh, I'll tell you what, Sadie better not die, man. I'll let, I'll let her take this one out. Damn it, Sadie. Oh, no. <laughs> Man, oh no, oh, come on. Where? 
How did that not kill him, man? Alright. Let me get the bow action out. Get him. Oh, come on. Oh, damn it. Oh, come on. Oh, I'm actually almost out of... Nice. Oh, come. Oh, she got him anyway. I am trying. Aim at Ramon. Where is... Come on! Can Sadie take out this guy? I mean, come on. We might just be. I hope so. Well, that's that then. Help me load this fool on the horse. A lot of crazy bastards. Seems Mexico's a tough place. What in the world? No for you, John. Arson. I don't want to pick up his I'll hat. Well clear. Oh, I mean to, Mrs. Adler. Am I taking him or is she? Let's go for a run. Let's get out of here. This no, I don't want this hat, man. Collect... Did this bounty? Second time lucky. What do you think, Cortez? You got any more surprises up your sleeve? You're a dead woman. You're a dead man. The Delobos will not forgive this. <laughs> Wherever you hide, we will find you. And we will kill you. You and anyone who is 
this close to you. I preferred it when you was offering money. Oh, All right. Money? Hey, take my money. I got gold, lady. But you was just saying you was gonna kill me. Eyes open, fool. Oh, you let me go? I'll forget about all this. You see, Ramon, what we got here is a trust issue. Oh, I'm good for it. You're tied up on a horse, about to be taken to Santa Anita Hang. You ain't good for anything. Listen, I swear. Of course, because all you can do is swear. But you're just saying anything you think might get you out of this. Ramon, I couldn't trust you to pay me. I couldn't trust you not to kill me. Hell, I couldn't even trust you to kill me, if that's what we agreed. What the hell are you talking about? I got gold, woman. Mister, gold. Five thousand dollars. Well, I hope you left it to someone in your will. Because you ain't going to find much use for it in the short time you got left. I damn you, woman. Damn you. Oh, I've been damned a long time, my friend. Relax, mister. We ain't got far to go. Oh, you made a big mistake. Both of you. You should have took the money. You should have taken it. Now, now we're gonna come for you. I promise you that. We're gonna come for you. Well, I hope they know just where to find me. Because I'll enjoy the fight. I like the fight, Ramon. The fighting and the killing. <clears throat> so they're gonna come for us now. That's uh, that's standard. Yeah, damn, the aiming is getting a lot tougher, man. It sways a lot more than it used to. Here we are, back again. Looks like. All right. So let's hitch up around here. That better be it. Let's just finish this. Big mistake. Real big mistake. I'll see you again. Ooh, his dead body's just. We got him, Sheriff. We got him. I knew you'd be back, Ramon. <laughs> you just can't get enough of me. Put him in the wagon for me, would you? How's the jail? Needs to get fixed up since this nice man blew a hole in it. Yeah. Me and the boys will ride him to Santa Knee right away this time. Come along, Cortez. Sheriff, before you go. I'll pay you when I deliver him. Plus $75. Exactly. Now, goodbye. Let's go, boys. I'll see you soon, amigos. Shut up. <laughs> Thanks for this, John. You send my money to the bank for me. Of course. I'm supposed to be retired from this. This? For nothing. Just a simple arrest. Money for old rope. If you say so. See you around, partner. Two hundred thirty-four. Oh, did I? Oh no, I got bronze. Okay. Oh, these bronzes. All right, force Cortez's men to flee from roads within thirty seconds. Get five hundred headshots while covering Sadie with a long scope. Get four hip fire kills. Okay. All right, let's hitch. All right, this the cow can now be milked. Okay. <laughs> the, the cow can now be milked. Right. Alright, so we got another mission over there. This is going to be a longer video than I thought it would have been, but uh, it's all good. Alright, well, with that being said, I will end the video there. So please drop some likes. It will mean a lot to me, and I will see you very soon. Take it easy.